Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. Let's get started with our question today. So this question pops up to you on test day. First thing that you notice, we've got an EKG here. Got to be familiar with them. Got to be able to recognize the most common disorders that you can see. We've got a 68-year-old man brought to the emergency department because of palpitations. So fast heartbeat, a murmur is consistent with mitral stenosis. And notice these, these words that I've bolded for you. They're not going to be bolded on test day, but they're words that you as the test taker should be able to say, yeah, that should jump out to me. That's an important thing. So this guy's got mitral stenosis, heard on auscultation of the chest. And then we've got this cardiac rhythm strip. So right there, you got to take a few moments to look at this cardiac rhythm strip and say, is this normal? Is this abnormal? Do I recognize it as something that perhaps I've studied before? And hopefully by test day, that answer is yes, so you can get more points. Then we go to the question, if the patient has a long history of poorly controlled pulmonary disease, which of the following agents is most appropriate for this patient in the acute setting? So notice that this isn't just asking for what do we treat this guy with, but it tells us the scenario. This guy's got poorly controlled pulmonary disease. Given that, what's the best treatment for him? So let's go to the answer choices. We have A, amiodarone, B, diltiazam, C, esmolol, D, lidocaine, and E, procainamide. Take a few moments, think through this carefully, and select an answer. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is B, diltiazem. So what do we got to know about diltiazem? It's a calcium channel blocker and an AV nodal blocker. Specifically, it controls rapid atrial fibrillation. And hey, for this question, that's what it was. We go back and we see the EKG, something that should have stood out to you is that characteristic irregularly irregular rhythm. Notice those QRS complexes. They're all over the place, different spacing between the two. That's what you have to think about here. You gotta be able to recognize this. We, this patient's got AFib. How do we treat it given his poorly controlled pulmonary disease? That third bullet point there, we use calcium channel blockers because they don't cause bronchospasm versus beta blockers that can now, some high yield takeaways for this question is know about atrial fibrillation. So number one, know what it is, and two, be able to recognize that EKG that we just saw. It's an irregularly irregular ventricular rhythm without discrete P waves. Example of what can cause it? Mitral stenosis, any sort of valvular disease. If we have that mitral stenosis, that left atrium over time is going to enlarge. That's going to affect the conduction system, lead to AFib. A lot of problems in this patient. Example clinical presentation comes into your ED, palpitations. You listen, you hear that mitral stenosis, you better be thinking this guy could have AFib. Treatment for this, we got to control the rate either with one of those medications, okay, in this case, calcium channel blocker because of the pulmonary disease. But for another question down the line, medications may not work. We're going to have to shock this guy to control the rhythm. Big stuff to keep in mind, AFib, know these different concepts. It's going to lead you to higher points on test day. Thanks for joining me for the first session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. I'm Dr. Matt Alvin. Keep on studying, and I'll see you next time.